So we're here at another abandoned storage unit that we just bought way too cheap. It's so way too cheap and I think we're gonna make a lot of money on this one. We only paid $50 for this five by 10. You ready to see if we make some money? Let's do it. So when I open this unit up, let me show you the first two things I saw. Number one, right here, there's a price tag for $160 for something. I don't know what it is, but I figured we'll go at least $150 because of that. And right in the middle, there's a giant, really thin flat screen TV just laying there. I mean, that's gonna pay for the unit. That's why I thought $50 is like, what's going on with you people? Let's get into it. First, let's pull out these frames, see what we got going on. What is this one? Muhammad Ali. Uh, made in China, but it looks cool. Might have to keep that. Set them over there. And then we have this one, like the ones that have up in every office and doctor's office and like inspire. But you don't really know what the picture has to do with anything. All right, that. What's the last one? Oh, that's brand new. Look at that, brand new cool. frame. Still has the cardboard and everything on it, never used. Nice one. And is that it? This one here I like to call my specialty, the brown paper. All right, let's get into this book bag. It's right, ooh, it's heavy too. Smack dead in the front. Oh, geez, it's like super heavy. All right, let's see. What are you taking? What are you doing here? Losing, losing, losing. Just like me. All right, what's in here? That's nothing. And it's closed. Boo. Well, it looks like we have coats. What is Mark Echo? I never heard of it. Never heard of it. Well, these are all coats and there's some shoes. Oh, these are fancy shoes. What kind of, what brand is this? They're not even branded. Unless it's under this thing. I see some kind of brand on the sole. It's just black and plaid and you can barely read it. Smart, smart choice. And it's just all clothes. Oh, look. Hey, Transformers. Look at the price of Transformers. Hey. $63, brand new. eBay. What else do we got going on in here? Is that it? Just all clothes? What is, no, this isn't clothes. What is this? This is like a weighted mm -hmm. thing for your ankle. Mm -hmm. But the rest of it is all closed. Hopefully that sells for close to that on eBay actually. All right, let's see what's in this gray bag. It's got a lot of weight to it. What is that? An air mattress. Air mattress? Ah, well, they always sell, but not much. We'll get like $5 for it if it's not popped. Let's see what's in. Ooh, another suitcase. Let's see what we got going on. I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing nothing. Get into the main zipper, and it looks like more clothes. Look, the military clothes, U.S. Marine Corps. So, yeah, this this Marine stuff too. Yeah, look at that. We've been getting a lot of military lately. But that's another thing we noticed when we first bought the unit. It's kind of dark in there, but in the back corner you can see a military jacket and a military hat. Well, we'll get to that when we get back there. Let's get this big blanket out the way and see what's hiding in here. Get out. So we got a little, a waffle maker. Look at that. Didn't we just buy one of these? A little one, yeah. Now we can make full size waffles. Cool. Uh, this, we'll definitely try to get back. I hate when I find these. But there's their triangular flag. We'll try to get that back to them, hopefully. Let's put that aside. What is this little thing here? Paris. Um, then we got, what's over here? What are these? What is that? This useful and penetrating whip is good for dry skin. Ew, I don't wanna mess with that. What do we got going on here? Jewelry television? Ooh, is that a pearl necklace? Looks like it to me. Looks like it. Is it real? I don't know. Yes. That's in there. Maybe this is in there. It is. What, what is that? I don't even know. <laughs> Any idea? Um, no, I've never seen nothing like that before. 
Hmm. Not sure. But maybe all these are gonna be in there. Joan Rivers Classic Collection. What are these? Just that's gross looking. I would never wear a bug there. A bug jewelry. That's that's no. That's a no. So I found some more jewelry here. Let's see that. Oh, that has 90 bucks, but there's nothing in it. This one, let's see if this has anything in it. What are those? I don't even know. Dragonstones? <laughs> and lastly, this one looks like an actual jewelry box, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a nice looking watch. Klaus Quebec. It says Klaus Quebec Diamond. Do you think that could be real? Well, it's a certificate fancy. right here. So I was looking at the watch and realized it had this certificate at the top. And check this out. This is a certified. This timepiece has eight diamonds set in a mother of pearl dial. We're five minutes into this unit. We might have already found something worth a lot more than we paid for it already. That's how I like to do these things. Guys, this is not the end of the jewelry. Look at this. Ooh, look at those. They're Nolan Miller, some diamond looking heart earrings. Let's see what's in there. All right, yeah, please. There's a lot. Ooh, another watch. Look at that one. Mm -mm -mm. I think we might have done really good here. I'm going to have to hand these off. I don't want them to get damaged. No! Ah. <laughs> Luckily, they're in a protective case for a reason. Look at this one. Oh, look at that. 14 karat gold. Boom. Let's see what's in this one. Get the rubber band off it. Nothing. Oh, no. Hey, beautiful. What are you doing here? Let's oh, there's see. writing on the back of this. There's piece. writing right here, too. It says, just the brand. Noman Miller. Oh, man. I don't see anything yet, but look at that. That might be real gold, too. I don't know. Let's set that aside. What is this one, too? Joan Rivers collection again. And we got some of these kind of beads. I don't know if Joan Rivers is a very expensive brand or whatnot, but we'll find out. I just found something else that I know what it is because I know the box it comes in. You know what that is? And uh, gun laser. Oh, yeah, flashlight. Flashlight. But Wait, still, it's a laser underneath it. Oh, yeah, it's a laser and a flashlight. It's a dual. Red dot. An X2 laser. And this is what you use to clip on the bottom of your rifle or shotgun if you want to or something. But it's probably going to go on one of my rifles. But that is nice. Guys, we just started and we have a hoard of jewelry and a gun part. That is how we do this. So we just realized something after moving. Look at all these locks. This has been cut. One, two, three and there was another one i kicked so a minimum at least it's been cut already four times which means they are fighting to save what's in there so that's usually a sign to me like if i'm buying online and i see the cut locks that there's something valuable in the unit and so far look at this we just started and we are crushing all right this box looks very interesting let's see what we got going on besides yep. elephant. an elephant everyone loves elephants with the trunk up apparently it's good luck right yep but this is one of the other things I see right off the bat. This is a Department of the Navy U.S. Marine Corps certificate, it looks like. That's exactly what it is. So this will go with the flag. We'll try to get all the personal military stuff back. Ooh, look at that. Back to them. This is the same type of thing. No creed. Marine Corps ship. Check that out. That is a officer's equipment patch right there. Marine Corps. That's kind of cool. It looks like we have more jewelry. Look at those. Yeah, those match the bracelets. They do. Hmm. What's in, something's in here. What is that? Like a bracelet? It looks like it, yeah. All right, then. Let's just set that aside. Look at all these watches. This one is a shock resist brand. This is a Geneva. Isn't Geneva expensive? I don't think it is. You don't? You don't? I don't okay. think so. But don't quote me on that. Does this really say Hennessy? Look at that. It's a Hennessy watch. That's what it says, isn't it? Uh, it won't focus. Oh, I think that's what it says. The glare from the glass won't let it focus. Look at all these watches. This one's a Geneva as well. It's like a, look, one of those snap bracelets, but it's a watch. 
That's kind of cool. Never seen that. Look at this big boy though. That that's is a thing. big That's a year watch. size watch. For real. This one is a, uh, I can't read it. The hands are blocked. It's still ticking though. But it's a uh, belittling for Bentley Motors. Editing the video, punch this watch into eBay and are you seeing what I'm seeing? They are selling for thousands of dollars. What model do I have? Oh, this might be the big ticket item. I don't know, that could be worth something too. I think we're gonna do good on this unit though. This is a light sport thing. Yeah. Another watch in here. This one's another Geneva. Let's see what else we got. Sand. Everyone needs sand. Okay. And just look, elephant again, the trunk up. It's got a little bit of damage on the it. back. But yeah, people like elephants. There's a bottom. Is it? Oh, come here. Come here. Yeah, it oh, is, look. The leg's broke. Is it? Oh, yeah, look. There's two legs missing. Well, it's supposed to go like that. That would actually look super cool. Mm -hmm. Then we have wedding glass. It's still in there. Crystal something. And then we got, what is here, here? Uh, this is supposed to be beat, it looks like. But it's not in there, obviously. It's some other stuff going on. The, oh my gosh, are they? Hold on. Oh, we got trolled. They could still be somewhere else in the unit, so we're gonna set the box aside just in case. Other than that, looks like we have some personal pictures that'll go back. Uh, same thing. And it looks like in here, we just have a bunch of DVDs, which aren't really great sellers, but they're there. Let's go through some of the stuff we've got here that looks interesting, like this nice army bag and this nice pelican case. What do you think's in here? That thing? Bulldog. <sighs> the rest of it might be books. What is this? This thing? Yeah. Okay. But look inside, looks like a lot of books. But we'll scan the books. Books can have value, especially textbooks like that. They could be worth some money. We'll have to scan them all once we get home though. And we'll let you know in a recap. But other than that, it looks like just a bunch of books and things. So let's just set it aside. That, uh, not yet, not yet. That's super interesting. Look at that. That is heavy duty, man. Heavy duty. But yeah, we'll get into that. Let's see what's in here first. Is this in here? This is in here, isn't it? Open. Boom, look at that. Nice. Ryobi drill. There's the charger. We have the battery. Batteries right here. That doesn't happen very often. Nope. Does not happen very often. It's all there. Look at this. I set this aside because I didn't know what these were. I mean, I know they're football cards. I got that much, but I don't know how old they are. Let's look on the back of the card. 1993, but a whole set, it might be a complete set of some old football cards. I don't really know, but we'll let Baby Jeeves do the research on these because I'm not really into cards. And let's see what we got in here. I set this one aside because look at this. We have even more of these military patches like this. Look at this. There's four or five of them right here, all patches. So we're 100% certain he was in the Marines. And from what we found, it was like a really smart kid. I don't, I, I don't want to think about what happened, but Full of a bunch of military patches in here. And yeah, I think it's time. Let's see what's in this big boy. Cause this right here, that looks really interesting. What do you think we have? Do you think we have a bullet throwing device? I hope so. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no, no, a laptop. But that could be money too. What is this? Is this a laptop or DVD player? I don't really know. It looks like a DVD player. Yeah, it is. Look. That's no good. Let's look at this Dell right here. Dell XPS. Let's see if we can see any specs on it. Get it open. Make sure it's not cracked. Things like that. Uh, it's old. It's running Windows Vista. This thing's busted. So pff, this thing's probably not going to have much value, unfortunately. Then we got some Sony earphones and a bunch of paperwork in here. Not too, not as much as I was hoping it was gonna be in that case, unfortunately. Guys, unfortunately, the one light we needed to keep recording just went out. So we're gonna do this one a little differently. We're gonna kind of sort through and just show you the good stuff and take the junk out because you really, it's all black in there. You can't see nothing. So sorry, but we'll be back when we get some stuff out.
All right, so we're about 95% of the way going through this unit and it's a gold mine. First thing first, check out this Samsung TV, which is to be wall mounted. Before you judge it, look at the side of it. Look how thin that is right here. That's a fairly new TV. That in its own, I guarantee you, is worth quite a bit more than we paid for the storage unit. It was only 50 bucks and that's a nice TV. All the way in the back, two Jordan boxes. You know, they're usually paperwork, but no, no, not today. Come on, look at those suckers. Practically brand new. Size 12. Look at the bottom. It may have been worn like once ever. Very nice pair of shoes. And then we also got these right here. Same thing. Thought it was gonna be paperwork. Nope. A nice pair of Jordans, still in the box. And it's that Yankees blue. Look at the back of it. Jordan 12s. Mm. Size 12. They're pretty nice. All right, let's go through some of the other stuff we set aside. Set this aside just because it's brand new, never open. $25 price tag on it. Probably a good 10 or $15 right there. Set it with the Jordan boxes. So we got the Marine uniform here. I don't know if these are resellable. I think these are personalized. And if they are, I would rather get these back to the owner than sell it. So you military people, let us know. Hopefully this can just get back to them. So we also got this. To me, this looks like the end of like a gas mask or something, doesn't it? It says canister, ke oh, chemical biological mask. That was a pretty good guess, huh? I thought this looked like the thing that goes on the end of a gas mask, so that's probably military related too. We also got this little box of watches here. Check these out. The box says elegant, but the watches are actually, one's a psycho, I like calling it psycho, and one is the elegant watch. I don't know if these are expensive or not, but it looks like it's in a pretty fancy box, so let's hope it has some value too. And then we also got going on one more piece of jewelry I found in there. This one was smushed, as you can see, the crate, the container's kind of smashed. It was underneath a lot of stuff. But we had this little thing here. Don't know if it's gold. Didn't actually look at it. I just put it aside because it was a jewelry case. Let's see if we can see a marking on it. It's too small in here. We'll look it up when we get home to see if it's real gold or not. But anyway. Another little piece of jewelry in that one. Then we also got more shoes. Oh, these must have fell out when I dropped them. But these look like the military shoes. You go like, oh, belt, face, and stuff. Those look like they're in there. And the rest of this is actually paperwork. I don't even know there's anything else in there to tell you the truth. But that's a pair of shoes. These, boom, Converse's, gray ones. Nice pair of shoes again. Bottoms, again, maybe worn what, once, yeah. ever? If that. Then we also got right here, I don't know if this brand is expensive, Cole Han, but this one, look at the box. I don't think, oops, I thought the box was attached, but I don't think these have ever been worn. They look perfectly brand new. Like I don't think they've ever touched the ground. No. But they're Cole Han. Cole Han Nike Air, do you see that? Look in there. Yep. That's weird, but I haven't came across these before, so I don't know if they're expensive. We'll figure it out in a bit. So I almost tossed this bag aside just thinking it's closed, but I realized it's Ralph Lauren. This is Ralph Lauren in it, so I was like, maybe it's new. It's not very likely, but guess what? Every single thing in here, Ralph Lauren shorts, brand spanking new. Another Ralph Lauren tee, brand new with the tag. That's the only two I checked, so I hope they're all brand new. Yep, this one's brand new too. Tag still right there. Again. Brand new Ralph Lauren. And we got a theme here. Is this one brand new too? I don't see a tag on this one. Oh, you ruined it for me. Oh, what's that? That brand. These are expensive actually. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty expensive. Ooh, I didn't even see you. We'll check you in a second. And look at that. Brand new. Their price, $55 on that. All brand new Ralph Lauren. This is a Ralph Lauren wallet too. Do you have the money you spent on it? <laughs> no. But again, whole that's retail, that's well over $200. Resale, I'm not sure, but it's good money. Just wanted to point out that the receipt to the Ralph Lauren store was in there. Every single thing on here checks out. They spent $310 on clothes. See, this is why I shop at discount stores. I don't care how much money I have in my bank account. I, I don't care about clothes. Dee Dee's discount. Amen. Ross. AK <laughs> and Klein, but look at this. If you look in here. You see this little Kenneth Cole bracelet watch, but it still has its price tag on it for $95, brand new, never been worn right there. 
And we also have this little thing. I don't really know what this is. It doesn't feel like it's real metal, but it was in there with it. So I decided, you know what, before I toss it out, let's make sure it's not nothing special. I thought this was kind of interesting. Look at this. Brand new package that had never even been opened. So we were like, what is it? Let's see now. Let's open it. I literally just ripped it to make sure there was something in there. Let's actually see what it is. Get out. Omaha Steaks. Oh, this better not be a steak in there. Oh I swear. Gosh. I swear to you know what. If that's a steak, it's been in here for like five well, or six years. It says chicken breast on it. Oh, no. Ew. Oh, man. This better not be moldy chicken. What do we got going on in here? Jeez. Is this a box? That's a VHS stick. DI? Is that worth some money? You guys let me know, because I am not sure. We also got another pair of shoes over here. This one is GH Bass & Co. But these are 100% brand new. Look, they're still in plastic. Now, shoe like sneakers, I'm kind of familiar with, but dress shoes, uh, no, oh look, this might help. Uh -huh. How much do you think they bought them for? Uh, 60. 75, no way, you can't really. I think it says 75. It's so badly faded. You can't really tell. Well, it says Belk. What yeah. Is Belk? I've seen the store before. I don't know what they sell them. That's a toss up right now. We'll find out. I forgot to also mention, I've been piling stuff on top of it. We have a U.S. Marine Corps luxury plush blanket here that looks like it's still in the plastic. Obviously, the plastic's been stored for a while, so it's taken some beating. But you know what? That looks like it's in good shape too. This bag I thought was a little crazy and ironic. So the last unit we bought also belonged to someone from the military and we found the combat boots and people were messaging us like crazy. We sold out of all of them on eBay in like an hour after the video was released. And we opened this bag up. It's literally full of, I don't even know how many pairs. And these are like steel toed boots. I don't know if they go together, but I'm telling you, look, we'll match them up obviously, but there's probably five, or six pairs of these boots and these actually have look on the side the u.s marine corps logo on the side so you know these are probably seeing some action and then there's three more pair in there i think i took out three so i think we have five or six pairs of those military boots and the last ones we sold for i think 30 bucks a piece so you know what that's probably three four times what we paid for the unit in, in a bag so we also got some more stuff over here this looks like the marine corps hat thingy we sold, I think one of these before, it was like $45. As long as it's not, it doesn't have the name in there, which it doesn't, we sell them. If it has like, if somebody used this and the name's in there, we make sure they get it back. But if it's unused like that, that'll probably be on eBay too. These, if you play video games, it's like always at the sniper's wear, always keep the sun out of their eyes, but just a nice little military hat. This one, again, another military hat, nothing written on the inside at all, so. That'll also, depending on price now, I haven't looked these up in a while. Last time we found one of those was like a year and a half ago, so I don't know if it still has value, if it's gone up or down. But that, this one, just another military hat. The only reason I set them aside, they're not worth much, but since we have you know proof the guy did serve in the Marines, all these could have very likely seen some type of military action, which just makes it cool to me. That's cool. Then we also got, is this the one? No, it's uh, not. This there's thing. two. I don't know where the this other one went. This is a Christmas one, I think. But there's another loose blanket like this that's also U.S. Marine Corps, not including the one that's still in the package. So we'll show you more of the recap, of course. Like we're, this is just as going through it. It's all oh, these units crazy, man. I couldn't believe we got this for fifty. Like that TV's worth way more than that. I was sitting in the open. Look at this right there. Oh, that looks old, doesn't it? Hey, how do you feel pointing that thing at me? I feel, feel? kind of on top of the world, actually. How do you feel? But uh, this one is a, uh, let's see, we have a model on it, Panasonic Mini DV. Most of the stuff in this unit has been sitting for a while, so I'm going to assume, unfortunately, cameras and stuff, they don't really hold their value, unless it gets vintage. It's like a video game, you know? It has this point where it's new, it's worth a lot of money, then it's worth crap, and then all of a sudden it's vintage, and it's worth more than it was to begin with. Right now, yeah. All right, this bag I set aside literally just because I don't know if it has value. It's just military branded stuff. So you guys let me know, like this, you can tell those are, that says right there, USMC Max Grip Gloves. Right there, USMC Socks. It's all military stuff. Another pack, military socks. And I don't know about these, but they're St. John's Bay and they're brand new. They ripped the price tag off of them, but brand new gloves. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, this is like a little army bag, isn't it? Yep, look at this. Army bag. Oh, what's it say on it? Mm, that's... I don't know what that means. I don't want to show it because I don't know if that's a name. It's not the person's name that owned the unit. Just some pants. I think all the rest of it is mostly used military stuff. Look at that. Combat hardened military vid. So you know this guy's seen some seen some things. And what else do we have in here? Something hard at the bottom. Get out of here. These are uh, these are just personal books and writing and things like that. Nothing of any value. The rest of it. It's just use military clothes. All right, so I set this bag aside because it felt very heavy and had a lot of weight. Let's see if it's good or bad weight. First thing we have is this, the Suzanne Somers collection. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice. Now, if it's real jewelry or not, we don't know. What is this? What? What, what is that? It's got in it a Honda thing. Just random car stuff, nothing exciting there but we do see more USMC US Marine Corps right here let's see what's inside of it if we can this is documents and paperwork which we'll get back what is this oh hammer stall let's see what that is if I can get it out oh that's a kitchen knife look at that that's a fancy looking knife all right then what are these? Made in USA. Some khaki pants. What kind of shoes? What are these? These are Tim's, aren't they? What kind of Timberlands are those? Isn't that what that logo is? Mm -hmm. Huh. I don't know. I've never seen that. There's the other one. Shoes. When you find like a weird shoe that's a normal brand, it's either very unpopular or very popular and expensive. So we'll look that up because I don't know. Pa, are these the beats? No, troll. Remember, I thought we were going to find those beats. What is this? Weighted stuff. Uh, what else do we got? A journal. Do I dare look in it? It's actually all used to. Yeah, this is all deploy. This is all, look, deployment day. And it tells everything about it. That's kind of scary to see. All right, what else do we got going on in this sucker? Those are some big Nikes. They almost look like my size. The rest of it, I think, are clothes, other easy slice knife. And, oh, hey. Oh, hey, beautiful. I wonder if that's ever seen the inside of somebody. You think so? Don't they have a little, oh no, this one doesn't. Some of them have like a thing where you can unscrew and they store stuff inside of it, but that's pretty deadly. And that is, it says U.S. on it, so that's probably military grade right there. Is that all we have in here? That is all that we have in this bag. So usually you guys know we don't like to give away people's names in videos and try to keep it secret, but the problem with this is the storage facility, we talk to them, these people have cut off contact. They have no way of contacting the people, and I don't know what to do with the military stuff, such as this, what was in the back of the unit. So usually we don't give the names away, but Sergeant Isaac Ice Foster. If anybody knows this, please, please contact us because if they can't contact the people, they have no choice but to throw it away. I don't want to get it thrown away, so we're going to take it home for now, but hopefully somebody out there, share it wherever you can. Let's get it in front of the military eyes. Let's find out who this is. We have papers. He made it home. Everything was good, so I just don't know what happened. All right, so before we begin the recap on this unit, I want to once again point out, guys, please, Help us get this video out there. We have no way of contacting this person. The manager at the facility has no way of contacting this person. And we just have way too much personal family pictures, family memories, military memorabilia and stuff that I wasn't going to leave behind because they would just have to get rid of it. So we really want to get it back to the people. So please, please help us get this video out there. I always say like it, but especially today. Yeah. Leave it a like. Say something in the comments. Just say hi if you don't have nothing to say. The more interactions it has, the more YouTube's going to push it, the more better chance we have of getting in front of the right eyes. But now, let's get into some of the stuff that we are going to resell from the unit. The biggest thing, maybe, 
that watch. Did you see the prices of those? Those bread eleven something Bentley motor watches. The, some of these are selling for thousands and thousands of dollars. Some of them, the cheapest ones are like six hundred. Still, when I, when I looked up that brand, it said that they make like the best aviation watches in the business. I mean, it's crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. So. We're gonna have to put that one aside with the like the Omega one we found a few videos ago because we want to go get them authenticated and make sure they're real before we sell them and get, end up being fake and getting scammed and yeah. We want to get it looked out first. First, let's start. A little camera kit, I thought it was an old piece of junk. It's actually worth about $30. It's not as old and irrelevant as I thought it was, but obviously not as much as a good camera. $30 seems to be the theme because Transformers here. Also about 30 bucks on eBay right now. Just think, those two little items, that's already more than we paid for the whole unit, right there. This thing was hidden. I don't think I showed this on video, but this is the K-Bar. You guys that are into military stuff, you might know what that is. It's that beautiful military grade pocket knife. Mm, 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 mm. That is savage. These are about 30 or 40 bucks from what I've seen on eBay, but I haven't quite decided if we're gonna sell it yet. By the way, the people that are interested in this stuff, before everyone starts messaging us crazy stuff, because every time we find military stuff, we get like 10,000 messages in a day. It's not going to be possible for us to respond to it. The eBay link is in the description below. Just click on that and you'll see the things that we're selling because it's just impossible to respond to everyone's comments nowadays. We also got, I don't know if it's worth anything, but I thought it was kind of cool. A U.S. Marine Corps little teddy bear all dressed up. I don't know if it's just like a Build-A-Bear thing or if it's something that they actually did. Not Usually sure. if it's Build-A-Bear, it'll say Build-A-Bear on their foot, so I don't think it's... So it's probably something actually from them. Alright, then we got this hat, which has no markings and no nothing in it besides the size, so I don't really know what that... I mean, obviously it's a military cap, but I don't know. It doesn't have no rankings, no nothing for me to really look it up and see what it's worth on it. it looks but, like something should go right here. Yeah, they might have had a pin there that's gone now. I don't know. This one here is worth about... $45 or so online because it's got the Marine Corps logo and stuff right there. So that's about $45. Let me talk about the big, huge money that you guys did not see on video. So in the back of the unit, there were those big green <coughs> military style crates. And we didn't think nothing of them because when we opened them up, there was just all kinds of papers in them. We we're like, okay, paperwork. But when we get it home to sort, there's all kinds of these military jackets or shirts or uniform tops whatever you want to call them the green camo and the desert camo and they're all brand new with tags and you know what the going rate on ebay is thirty dollars and i guarantee you there's probably 15 to 30 if not more different tops in those crates so that could easily be 600 to a thousand dollars even more profit added on top of the already thousand we have not even including this big boy right here if it's worth some money if it's yeah. real but easily probably another thousand in military tops. It's crazy. It's not crazy, just crazy. tops. There's new pants. There's new packs of mm -hmm. socks, which are like fifteen bucks a, a pack. Mm -hmm. There's different, just different like undergarments, I guess, like the dry fit stuff that they wear. Sweatsuits too, but they weren't new. There was yeah. like the U.S. like you always see them training in the U.S. M.C. sweatsuits, like sweatpants, sweatshirt. I was about to say sweat top like, kind of thing. Like boot camp. Yeah, basically, yeah. That's what the word I was looking for was. But anyway, I don't know if I forgot to mention this in the video. We do know this guy, he did not die in combat, so he did come home. I just, it's seen, that's what my first pro, or thought was, but that's not the case. We found evidence. He came home. He was honorably discharged after an injury, so he did come home. That wasn't the thing. So if anyone's thinking that, that's not the case. We also found more brand new Ralph Lauren. This is one of those like little hmm, preppy guy sweaters, <laughs> but it has the price tag on it still for $115. That's probably a good $40, $50 eBay item. This one was also brand new, right? Yes. Yes, it was. Look at that. This one's from Macy's, uh, Ralph Lauren thing. The problem is they didn't remove the security tag, <laughs> but I guess we'll just include that. In the, apparently it's easy to get off if you know what you're doing, but I heard that sweatshirt. Yeah. So that's I have a magnet, but I'm not about ruining it. Mm -hmm. So I, I will <laughs> ruin it. I will 100% ruin it. Where's the other thing? Oh yeah, this. This was the, probably the coolest thing I found hidden. I thought this was just a little case here, but it's an e-tool carrier. If you don't know what that is, I'll allow me to show you really quick. But this thing is like incredibly difficult to get into. Gosh. 
Okay, there it is. But check that out. It looks like nothing, right? But it expands into this. And then ugh, into this. Let me get it out. Just like that. And you know what's crazy? You know, I found out the metal. This guy served in Afghanistan. So I guarantee you that sand that's on here did not come from the local beach. There's literally sand all over this shovel. I touched Afghanistan. And I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. But these things I saw with this in the pack are like $70 on eBay. So but that's so cool. I don't know if I want to sell it. It's so cool. But let me set that back aside. It's a pain to get back in there. Also in the bottom one of those military crates, completely unexpected. We had a stack of jerseys here and they look brand new. Yes. Look at this, Cowboys jersey, Bryant. One of them has a tag. Yeah. Not this one. Definitely never been worn. It's way too clean, but it is a Nike jersey. And this one actually does have the tag on it. Let me get it out really quick. Cowboys, I think it's an uh, Emmett Smith jersey. Still has the tag on it. Nike, but it also, it's not Nike actually. This one's not. This one's Mitchell and Ness. But it has like a little throwback NFL authentic thing on the bottom here. And it says 1995 Emmett Smith on it. But like we said, brand new with tags, never worn. It's also got this 75 patch on the front of it right there. So I don't know what that's worth. I didn't even get a chance to look these up, guys. It's like 2 a.m. <laughs> we're still digging and we're still listing and searching. This was a gold <sighs> mine. Gold mine to be in it. I am kind of tired. Not really, but I'll make myself stay. <laughs> We also got a Michael Jordan jersey from the Wizards. You don't see the Wizard ones that often. Usually when you find Michael Jordan, it's like Air Jordan brand or the Chicago Bulls. But everyone forgets about his little Wizard stunt stand he did there too. And that's in pretty decent shape. There's like a little bit of something on the Z. But, you know, that'll come right out. Other than that, that's pretty good. I think I'm kind of out of breath. Talk about the other side of the table. Yeah, I'm already out of breath. <sighs> I haven't even started yet. Um, let's get started with the boots because those are one of the easiest for me to remember because they're pretty much all the same. So they're all mostly the Belleville brand. Um, they have different codes inside. They're all around the same size. I think most of them are like 12 or 13 R is what they have in it. And I think the R refers to like the width of the boot, but they, they look to all have whether you can see it or not, there's the USMC logo on the corner. So I tried to capture that in some of the pictures. By the way, these are on eBay. Like he said, we're going to have, definitely have these boots and this jewelry listed by the time oh, I want this a lot video more. is out. Yeah, obviously more. But try. these are 100% going to be listed. Um, for the most part, they're all worth about 40 bucks a piece. So that's five pair. Um, and... The worst condition one, as you can see, there's like holes in here, but this brand is more expensive. So this is, I don't know. I got a question too. I'm hoping somebody can answer. With military grade items like this, people that collect, are you looking for perfection or seeing action? Yeah. Cause like the ones that are in bad shape, they're military grade boots. We know the guy served. Yeah. Is that going to decrease or increase the value? You know, those were used in combat somewhere in the Middle East. So I just don't know how military memorabilia works. Is that like a increase that, oh, you know it's all action, so it's worth more? Or is it like, oh, it's not in good condition, so it's worth less? I don't really know. So I'm not a military collector or anything. Yeah. So what did I say? 40 bucks a piece, five yep. pairs, 200 bucks. About 200 bucks right there. Um, And then let's get into some of the jewelry. So this is a Victoria uh, Wake, W-I-E-C-K. And it's a little like diamond ish i don't know if those are i don't think they're real diamonds but that's what it looks like diamond face watch i believe if i remember right when i was looking these up most of this stuff goes for about 20 to 50. and like i said they're going to be on ebay for the exact prices but don't quote me on these prices right now because i'm Tired definitely probably wrong pieces of jewelry. yeah um this next one we have is the nolan miller glamour collection and these are actually clip-on heart earrings with probably like cubic zirconia stones in them. Mm. We have a lot of this, what is it called? Uh, the Nolan oh. Miller collections. Uh, these right here are about 20 bucks as well. They're like dangly heart earrings. Um, put that aside for now. Psycho watch. Why do the prices vary so much? 
know. Well, like a two cycles yeah. look identical. Like one sold for four bucks and one sold for like seventy nine. I'm like, what do I have? <laughs> So this right here is another Nolan Miller, and this is actually called the Lara Ivory Bracelet. So ivory little flowers with some uh, stones in the middle. Is that illegal? What? Isn't having ivory illegal? Well, I don't know. I don't know if the ivory is real. I don't know. Or not. So let's pull this out. Okay, so I have actually two. I can't like hold it at an angle, but. This uh, necklace right here, I think it's called like a raindrop necklace. Um, one is complete and the other one looks like it's missing one of the raindrops, but after when I looked on eBay, one that was missing a raindrop still sold. So I don't know how significant the raindrops mm -hmm. are to this necklace, uh, but it is called the Lave or Pave raindrop mm -hmm. necklace. And this is the same thing. Like I said, one of them just one less raindrop than the other. So there's two of those. So much jewelry. And then we get into the Joan River collection. This that is so nice. like a yellow, green, and blue like flower bracelet. I couldn't find this exact one because it doesn't list it with the names, unfortunately, like the the other brand does. But again, I, I feel like it's like $15, $10, $15 or so. Uh, like I said, Psycho Watches. They vary so much. I don't really know what to list this for right I don't now. Either. Um, this one, I think this was like 10 or 15 to 20. This is the Elgin watch right here with the case and everything. Nice. And it's not, I mean, good condition. I don't think any of this stuff like in the cases have been worn maybe once mm -hmm. or twice, but can't be 100% sure. This that one, I don't so think nice. has been worn at all mm -hmm. this is a klaus Quebec. it even has a certificate and instruction manual and the extra pieces and a pin down there which is amazing so that's a complete set oh, with God, right? a fancy box mm -hmm. yeah um and i think the only reason is because of like all the stuff it comes with mm -hmm. so this one right here one more after this is, well, this one was very hard to find. This is from Jewelry Television, and it's like a QVC thing. I think it's called JTV, technically, but this is like the pearl jewelry set. So it comes with the necklace, the bracelet, the earrings. Um, I think it's around 50 or $60 for the whole set. And I did the little pearl test, like you, it's a tooth test. If you want to test pearls, scratch it in your tooth, and if it feels gritty, they're real pearls. And these felt gritty. So these are um, eight to nine millimeter pearls. I think that's, I mean, in them, I'm assuming it's millimeter. Yep. And the very last thing I have, which is kind of cool. This is probably one of the most expensive ones that we have, even though it's not like on the high end. This is probably 40 or $50 right here. So this one little pin right here is supposed to be like a bumblebee. And all these little color things around it, you basically can interchange like the color in the yeah. middle of the bee. And there's like a little magnetic strip for them to stick. So I thought that was pretty cool. But that is all the jewelry. Right and what we're showing you here is literally not even all. We have more jewelry just sitting out there. Yeah. We have more stuff that's going to be on eBay. We have a lot of stuff that's going to be sold at the flea market. And a lot of stuff we really want to get back to the owner of this unit, including like the display box, the trifold flag, and just a bunch of personal like certificates and things like that. We don't, I don't want to get rid of them, and I really don't, but. We just don't know how to get a hold of them besides hopefully the right person seeing the video. That's all yeah. I know how to do is use our audience and try to get it back to them. But anyway, guys, all in all, $50 storage unit. I'm saying it's $2,000 plus easy. I think worth the merchandise. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Again, if you're interested in any of the stuff we show in the eBay link will be down in the description below. We're going to try to have most of it up by the time you see the video, but I'm also a human, so I don't know what's going to happen yet. <laughs> Hopefully it's all up there. If not, just keep watching it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Leave the video a big fat thumbs up. And until next time, peace out.